Hi friends, uh, in this video we are going to be showing you the procedure to replace the keyboard of the Dell Mini Inspiron 1018. So we have the laptop in hand with us. So what you need to do here is to buy a keyboard, a separate laptop keyboard and you need to have the laptop. Now let's get to the work. So this is the laptop, this is the Dell Mini Inspiron 1018. Uh, and uh, this is the way it looks from the inside. If the laptop looks uh, similar, then you can utilize this process. So let's open it. As you can see, this is the keyboard. Let's flip it now. First thing first you need to do here is to remove the keyboard uh, battery of the laptop before doing uh, anything. Now you can see these three screws, one, two and three. These are the three screws basically which hold on to the keyboard of the laptop. Keyboard is a very major issue with most of the Dell Inspiron mini laptops. You need to remove the screw here. So it's available at around say 2000 rupees here in India. And cheaper ones are available at around 1000 rupees also. Remove the screws which are holding onto the keyboard. Flip the laptop and just protrude the keyboard from the area where you have removed the screws. Just protrude it a little bit. Yep. All right. So when you put it over here, you will see the keyboard come out. You need to remove the cable connecting to the keyboard here. So there is a small connector over here. These are the two connecting pins and you need to remove it. The keyboard is out now and you can replace the keyboard. Also in this video, uh, let me also show you how to replace the hard drive and the RAM. We started off with the keyboard but I see the RAM and keyboard hard drive also to be a problem here. So as you can see the keyboard once it comes out you can see the hard drive you can just remove this one screw over here and you can just to your left you can press it and the hard drive will come out this is a SATA based hard drive it is a SATA based laptop hard drive you just need to buy a 2.5 mm uh, laptop hard drive which is a SATA connector based and you can just replace it now as you can see uh, the RAM is somewhere here so you need to remove uh, these uh, three screws first and before that we need to remove all the screws that are there below it so that the whole panel comes out so let's The screws on the behind are longer, uh, they are of a longer size and the screws that are there on the front over here, 1, 2 and 3, they are of a shorter size. So you have to keep these on the one side so that you don't get confused while refitting it. I need to flip it back, just be sure that all the screws that are uh, holding on have been removed and now for opening it, you just need to remove these three screws here. and keep these three screws on another side. I just need to open the panel here. Just give it a little bit of... Before that, just remove uh, this connector also so that it does not protrude. And then this connector has to be removed. Alright, so this entire panel comes out and here is where your RAM is. Now, just need to use your two fingers and the RAM slot. Now, uh, this has got a 
DDR3 sodium memory. You just need to buy a DDR3 based uh, sodium memory with 1333 MHz or 1600 megahertz and just reinsert it. So only got one slot, so can't help. You can see the Wi-Fi chip here. So if you want to replace the Wi-Fi chip, uh, you can do that. This is where your speakers are based here. You can remove the speakers also. This is the entire motherboard area. So most of the things are visible. It's a poor kind of a design because there's absolutely no heat vent where uh, uh, heat can be dissipated. Uh, it can't help. This is a low budget laptop. So this is it. So this my friends is a video which started off showing you the way you could uh, replace the keyboard but eventually we've also shown you how to uh, replace the hard drive, the RAM and uh, the Wi-Fi chip as well. So thanks a lot guys for watching. Uh, do let, let us know if you have any comments, suggestions and do not forget to subscribe to us. Thanks a lot again.